want to share with everybody a, a dream that I had that the Lord gave me. And uh, forgive me for not doing this soon. I pray, oh God, that everybody receive this. Everybody of God that's under the sound of my voice that clicks on this video, oh Lord, may you bless them, may you touch their spirit, oh Lord, may you help them, oh God, to have a fresh start, help them, oh God, to hear, to see what the Spirit of the Lord is saying. I give you praise and all the glory and all the honor forever. sleep one night and uh, I was having a dream which seemed like a you know, normal dream but um, it was like a play going on and all these people was doing their you know, various types of jobs and uh, I had got a broom from the broom closet or something like that and uh, so the whole dream, I was like trying to get back to put this, you know, broom and mop and stuff back. I was trying to put this stuff back in the closet. One thing I noticed is that everybody that was doing it different type of jobs um, was like really into it and they wasn't looking at nobody else. They was just like, you know, doing it, like doing their jobs. Like if a guy, it was like a play going on. It was like a stage and people that was like behind stage was moving, and, you know, getting ready to do, you know, put up the next prop. So the prop guy, he was really into his job. And the actors, they was acting like the best actors I've ever seen. Um, but I seen, okay, I was like, okay, I gotta get to this to this closet before you know they know that these brooms are gone and stuff. So I get to the back of the stage, and uh, like I remember seeing the curtain, the guy that, that opens and shuts the curtain. I mean, he was really into it, like, you know, this is like, I'm being, I'm being the best uh, at what I do. And that's the mindset I think everybody had. They, they were just trying to be the best at whatever they was doing. Um, so I remember I seen my Aunt Fran, my great aunt. Um, she's in her 90s now. And uh, I seen her, she said, hello, Sam. I was like, hey, y'all, friend. And my mind was so into trying to get these uh, items back in this closet before people know we're gone. So I said hello and everything. I was happy to see it, but I kind of cut it short, you know? Um, like, okay, I'll be right back. You know, that's what my mind was like. Okay, I'll be right back. But let me put this stuff up. Hey, how you doing? How you doing? Yeah, I'm okay. Like that. And I proceeded on going back to the, uh, you know, broom closet, a broom closet. So, um, I got to the broom closet and our friend walks out the broom closet. And I said to her, how did you, like, how did you get here, you know? And she looked at me and said, too slow, boy. Like that. So I was like, huh? But he was just, huh? So I was really like confused and like trying to figure out how did this happen. So as I'm standing there, two little kids, I mean, they had to be 
like my son is nine, so they had to be like maybe six or seven or something like that, because it was real little. And it was a boy and a girl. And they was coming up to me like smiling, like, you know, they was full of joy and happiness, man, like the type of stuff that'll make you smile just looking at them, you know? And uh, they came to me, like I seen them walking, like approaching me. And um, like we never took our eyes off each other. And they came and said, hey, we must uh, bring you to him. I said, bring me to him. Yes, he wants to see you. He wants to see you. And I automatically knew they was talking about the Lord. It was just, that's what came to my heart and my mind at the time. Like, oh, they're talking about the Lord. So they grabbed my hand and proceeded on leading me, like, you know, still behind the stage um, to where Jesus was. And boom. That he, he's standing there, like, in the back of the stage, and, uh, like, he's dressed like everybody else, like, fitting in, you know, um, and nobody, like, recognized him, you know, they was walking by him and passing him, but when I seen him, I did, I couldn't take my eyes off him, and I was just, like, amazed, like, oh my gosh, like, the Lord, you know? He was standing there all calm and, and smiling and like, you know, and he said, hey, Samuel, I said, hey, hey, how you doing? You know, like, uh, like starstruck almost, you know, not no almost, it was just like amazed because this is the Lord. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> I couldn't even get no words out. I was just so fixated on on him and his face and like amazed, you know. Um, he said, hey Samuel, um, have you done all you can do? And I said, Because, you know, I don't want to make any more mistakes or 
um, you know, put my time into something that's um, not going to last or that's not for me. So I've been seeking the Lord, you know, asking for guidance and direction. So when he asked me those words, and uh, I said, oh, okay, I know what to do. Like, okay, well, I gotta try hard, I gotta do more, I gotta give more, I gotta go as hard as I can, I gotta do as much as I can, I gotta give as much as I can, okay, I got it, Lord, I got it, okay, and I was trying to move, like, like, like I was gonna go run, I wanted to go run and try it, run and apply that to my life, immediately, okay, so the kids came back, well, they were still there, but they said they came to me again. 